After discussing yesterday how the Italian engineer Giancarlo Morbidelli had an obsession with V8 engines wrapped in his controversial design, today we will talk about how Simon Whitelock, an engineer from England, had a crazy idea to build a motorcycle with 48 cylinders. This motorcycle, named Tinker Toy, managed to set a world record as the most functional and rideable motorcycle with the most cylinders. Curious about what it looks like? And how was the journey in creating this engine? Watch the complete story below. Don't skip the video if you don't want to miss interesting moments and discussions. Simon Whitelock, an engineer from England, has had an obsession and interest in Kawasaki triple engines since 1985. What started as a hobby of tinkering with engines and experimenting with custom builds led to an addiction to creating more powerful engines. He began by building a four-cylinder, inline, two-stroke Kawasaki from other engines. After that, he built a nine-cylinder, triple-triple engine and an inline, seven-cylinder engine. All were Kawasaki's and all were two-strokes. However, this addiction needed to be fulfilled, leading to the creation of the 48-cylinder, two-stroke Kawasaki engine that is listed in the Guinness Book of World Records, which we will discuss here. This major project began in 1998, when Simon Whitelock chose the name Tinker Toy for his 48-cylinder engine, inspired by the B-17 Flying Fortress Bomber from World War II. The name Tinker Toy is a play on words referring to the Tinker Toy which is often used to create various creative constructions, similar to how Simon combined many engines to create this extraordinary project. This engine consists of six rows with eight cylinders each, taken from 16 Kawasaki KH 250 motorcycle engines, with a total capacity of 4,200 cubic centimeters and weighing over 1,300 pounds. To start this engine, Simon used a small starter engine called a donkey engine because the main engine required a substantial amount of power to operate. Initially, the donkey engine had a capacity of 50 cc, but the main engine was difficult to start, so Simon decided to use a larger capacity of 125 cc, and the engine began to run. So, if counted accurately, the Tinker Toy engine actually has a total of 49 cylinders, including the donkey engine. This engine features 24 exhaust cylinders on each side, with each six rows of cylinders having their own ignition system and Makuni carburetors. The fuel tank is made from a stainless steel tube with a diameter of 150 millimeters located between the middle and lower rows of cylinders. To supply power, this engine uses an alternator taken from a car, while the brakes, calipers, and front suspension are taken from a Honda Goldwing. The rear spring is reinforced to support the weight of this vehicle, which is over 1,300 pounds. The frame used is from a Kawasaki 250S1 that has been stretched to the maximum to house the 48-cylinder engine. The wheels are also very important for this motorcycle, so Simon ordered custom wheels made by the manufacturer Hagon, constructed entirely from stainless steel. Even more impressive is the carburetor and throttle setup, which is divided into six parts. The exhaust system is a 24 into one design and of course, handmade. The whole setup was built in sections to prevent warping during the welding process. The fuel tank is deeply buried between the engine banks and the extended tank you see houses the ignition hardware and electronics. Impressively, this motorcycle meets all legal requirements in England, where it holds a full license, making it legal to use on English roads. It has been ridden, even though it requires long arms to reach the handlebars and carefully placed feet to avoid touching the exhaust headers on both sides of the engine. The actual top speed and horsepower figures are unknown as this motorcycle has never been tested on a dynamometer due to doubts about its accuracy. The original three-cylinder Kawasaki KH250 engine produced 32 bhp, so theoretically, 16 of them could produce 
512 bhp. Its speed reaches 120 to 130 miles per hour. Actually, Simon built this motorcycle not to chase power or speed, but to achieve a record in the Guinness Book of World Records as the most functional and roadworthy vehicle with the most cylinders. To operate this motorcycle, unlike a regular bike, you first need to turn the ignition, which functions to pump fuel and power the electrical system. Then press the switch to start the donkey engine for the initial start. Once everything is running, you simply press the start button to start the main engine. When the main engine is running, turn off the donkey engine and the motorcycle is ready to be used. However, once again, caution and vigilance are required when operating this motorcycle, given its weight of almost 600 kilograms. So you must be careful not to let it fall on your feet if you don't want to lose your feet. The assembly process of this engine was also very complicated, taking a lot of time, effort, and obviously costs. Simon had to scour UK flea markets to find some 16 Kawasaki KH250 engine blocks. Once collected, he had to cut the gearboxes with a large grinder and then clean them with high-pressure water spray. After cleaning, the engines were welded together into a single row consisting of eight cylinders, totaling six rows. After being assembled, the exhaust pipes were also arranged accordingly. The next step was to make the inlet side from car remnants that were cut and drilled in such a way. And not to forget, adding a manifold made of copper pipes. The next step was to make a temporary wooden stand to hold the six engine blocks along with the gearbox, making it easier to build the motorcycle frame. Because this motorcycle is heavy, the handlebars were widened to maintain stability. Continuing with the engine, when the gearbox was neatly arranged, the crankcase manufacturing was ready to be executed. The exhaust was made of handmade stainless steel. Not to forget, the fuel tank was also handmade from another motorcycle, by cutting it into two parts, one placed in front and the other at the back. The White Lock Tinker Toy Motorcycle was auctioned at Bonhams in Spring Stafford last April and sold for 92,000 pounds. Interested in owning it? Please comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on the notification button so you don't miss the next interesting video.